Hello once again everybody Tim with Tim's Computer Fix .net here. Another fan repair, except this one is on a Razer computer. This is a R09-0300 Razer computer. This is of the pink variety. Nice little laptop here, GeForce RTX, got a 2060 dedicated video on this machine. Got an i7-9750, 6 core, 12 thread, 4.5 gigahertz. So this fan, uh, this computer's been making fan noises and the fans need to be replaced and that's what this video is going to show you how to do today. There are several screws that you just take out along the edges of the laptop and the bottom just pops right off. Take note that on the bottom of the casing here that there are thermal pads. Be sure that those remain. Those would be important. And here you can see the two fans. Pretty straightforward, fairly straightforward. I think we'll first start off and just to verify that these fans look look similar to or exactly like we have here. So let me do that first. So my mic cut out here, so we're going to do the rest of this with a voiceover. And once you see here, we have the determined that the new fan matches the old fan. That's exactly what we want. The first thing what we want to do now is to unplug the battery. Make sure that battery is unplugged before we proceed. And you simply just take the battery cable and pull it out from its socket. Then you can see here on this right fan, there's a series of cables. There's a video cable here. There's also your wireless uh, antenna cables. We're going to pull those out and we're going to lift up on the video cable. It pops right off like this. Just might be a little difficult. But just keep pulling and it'll pop right off. Yep. And once that's off, then we can take those cables and we can deroute them from the fan. Once we have that derouted, just pull it out here with the spudger. If you need your spudger to help you out a little bit, you got these hooks that those are routed into. And there you go, we're free. Then on the left side, we have one cable, which is the camera cable. We just want to unplug that pulls right out from the board and just deroute that. Okay, once we do that, we can go ahead and actually unplug the fans. Very small cable here. You want to kind of pull and rock them back and forth a little bit gently to disconnect the fan. And then you want to do the same thing to the, to the other side here. Just gently pull that out. Rock it back and forth a little bit just like that. And then there's a couple of screws on both fans that are holding it in place. So all you want to do is just uh, take those uh, two screws out on this right side. Very nice. And take those two screws out on the left side. There you go. And then we can simply lift the fan out of place. Now this is great on this model Razor laptop. Much more easier than a lot of different models. We'll go ahead and put the new fan back into place while we're over here. Get that fit back in there nicely. And then we want to go ahead and transfer the tape that was on the old fan. Transfer that over to the new fan. That fan is there for a reason. That tape, I'm sorry, is there for a reason. So you want to be sure that we transfer that. Get it on just like it was before. There you go. And we can go ahead and plug this fan back in nice and gently. Just push it back into its little socket there. And then we put the two screws back in that secure it. There's one right here. And the other one's here. We'll go to the left side now before we go into cable management. We'll remove that old fan. Stuck with a little tape here, pull that off. There we go, and then we'll put the new fan into place. Just sits right back in there. Quite simple. Let's transfer the tape. 
this on this left side that transfers nicely once you have done that we get it get it just right here make sure every make sure it's just like it was before and then we can go ahead and plug this fan in same as the other side gently push it into its socket make sure it's in there all the way and then we can go ahead and secure this fan into place with the two screws great now let's look at cable management get our cables put back into place like they were this is the camera cable it goes right into those two hooks on the left fan there and just plugs right back into the board like it was before there we go that looks good and then we come over here to this right side we love these pesky antenna cables fiddle with those until you get them locked into place it's always fun to mess with those and we could go ahead and kind of route some of these wires back how they were to help hold those antenna cables how they need to be get those routed right nice and tight up against that fan and then we can plug in the video cable that simply line it up and you simply uh, press down firmly until it snaps in and then you double check all your cable management there to the best of your ability we'll go ahead and plug in the battery now just like that and now we're going to test Basically, I'm going to stand it up on its side, open it up. We're going to plug in the power. And pretty much just hit that power button. Now, what we're looking for is fans spinning up is what we're looking for. So once we see the span, fan spin up, there we go. We do have fans spinning show you a little bit better here we got both gpu and cpu fans spinning i now know that the fans are working properly we can go ahead and just pop this cover back cover back on put all the screws back in and our fan repair is good to go listen this is a lot easier than a lot of the other laptops where you have to remove the motherboard or remove the entire heat sink to fix the fans I give hats off to this, ra this uh, brand Razor for making that an easier task than this. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'll have the links to the fans down below this video in the chat. I hope this helps somebody out. Of course, have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.